we introduce a new ghost fluid method for handling liquid boundary conditions in smooth particle hydrodynamics. Basic SPH suffers from severe artifacts at the free surface. Notice how particles cluster into a dense shell deforming the initial shape in response to the absence of particles in the air. By seeding ghost air particles in a layer around the liquid, shown in light blue, the density estimates are again accurate. With ghost SPH, the liquid preserves its shape and particle distribution. Usually, a real liquid will stick to a solid surface except when air can easily fill the gap. In this video, notice how the water flows around the underside of the tomato, reconnecting at the bottom in a single stream. The basic SPH handling of solid boundaries fails to model the real world cohesion and again suffers from the severe surface tension like artifacts. It breaks up into unnatural clusters instead of a single stream. In ghost SPH, we carefully set ghost velocities and densities on the solid particles to correctly capture the no-stick boundary condition, which produces the cohesion seen in the real world. Normal velocities are taken from the solid, while tangential velocities and density are extrapolated from the liquid. The ghost air particles also cure the false surface tension artifacts seen with basic SPH. Again, seen side by side, the differences in behavior are obvious. The overhead of sampling ghost particles in this example is quite modest, taking only about a third longer to compute per time step. The paper also presents a new particle sampling algorithm used for seeding liquid, solid, and air particles, both initially and dynamically during simulation. Ghost SPH and our sampling algorithm work with solids of arbitrary shape. In this example, the liquid splashes and pours around the bunny, seeking minimum energy paths along the terrain of the body. Moving solids are equally well handled. Here, the solid affects the liquid trajectory at contact, and the trajectories decouple as the bunny continues rotating. 